morning parents, grandparents, friends, Harbor Day School faculty, staff, and administration, and especially students in the class of 2020. Welcome to Harbor Day School's first ever virtual graduation. I'm Angie Evans, head of school, and I am proud to recognize the class of 2020 together with you today. Graduation from kindergarten through eighth grade is special. Many of you started at Harbor Day in kindergarten when you were just five years old. Over nine years here, your class added students and they became friends. You added years to your life and you became teenagers. This happens with every Harbor Day class. Unique to your class is your cohesion and seemingly innate ability to work as a team. Your eighth grade year has been filled with tragedy. Not only did you suddenly lose a classmate, Gigi Bryant, you also lost a quarter of your school year together. Yet you lean into each other and demonstrate how to work through loss and pain together. Every year I ask our eighth graders to share their highs, lows, and favorite aspects of school in a survey. You all impressed me by sharing that spending most of the day in the bathroom at Walter's camp when a massive thunderstorm forced you to seek shelter and cut your lower Colorado River trip short was a favorite memory. One might see that as an indicator of the difficulties that you face this year. However, reading your stories further revealed that you band together to sing songs, create TikToks, and truly have fun in spite of the circumstances. Others of you, by the way, shared a funny story from a softball game when the ball went over the fence, but apparently the outfielder did not make it over the fence. I also learned about Mrs. Stockstill's somersault and how much fun you had in Spanish class. Many of you shared that you enjoyed all your class trips and being together. The real theme and the real takeaway from your stories is strength and community. Your class has repeatedly demonstrated your strength when you are together. You bring joy to each other and to outsiders when you perform together, hold bake sales together, learn together, compete together, create together, and yes, cry together. Several of you gather your strength through time alone, but you often share your strength when you reconnect together. This virus has pushed us all physically apart. It has forced us to find new ways to operate. While it was frustrating to rehearse Footloose remotely, with the support of your teachers and each other, you gave us a great performance. While it was lonely to move from class to class by ending one Zoom session and opening a new one, you completed your fourth quarter of school with new skills that will make you well prepared for high school. You succeeded in many of these new formats by facing this challenge together. From kindergarten to eighth grade, you learned to read, to compute, to analyze, to dance. All of these lessons will serve you in school and in life where you, the class of 2020, grew, and the lesson you taught each other, taught all of us, and will use for the rest of your life is the lesson of better together. Congratulations, class of 2020. I'm honored to know each of you. I'm proud of you. I look forward to when we can celebrate together. Thank you all so much for taking the time to join us and celebrate this wonderful class of 2020. My name is Daniel Kahn, and I'm the 8th grade student council class president. Words cannot describe how appreciative we are that you are all here to watch us graduate from Harbor Day School. Wow, never thought I'd say that phrase, graduate from Harbor Day School. Looking back on it, I had some doubts we were going to make it here, but here we are, graduating. Throughout the year, the class of 2020 has shown relentless resilience. We've had many ups and downs, yet one thing has always remained constant. We always try to make the best out of every situation. It really takes a special group to do that. Though it feels like only a few months back, way back in September when we started the year, we found ourselves in Walter's camp, sauntering around complaining because our bus had just got a flat tire after being promised to go to some resort called the Oasis. Frankly, we were pretty angry. Then out of nowhere, we started to hear squeals of joy. Then a few more. And all of a sudden, everyone looked over and saw that a few kids got their hands on some water guns. At that moment, bam, the switch flipped in everyone's mind. It's game time. Everyone was in a full sprint, even DM. Everyone needed a water gun. Once the large group got to them, we quickly realized it was a limited number. 
The kids who were unable to get guns realized they were sitting ducks, just waiting to get soaked. The fight raged on for about an hour, even as the thunderclouds began to circle. We even tried to get Mr. Kerr soaked, but he hid in Mr. Arkin's van. We all had completely forgotten about the bus incident. Soon after the water fight commenced, it happened. The storm of all storms came. We all had to run to the bathrooms and take shelter. We were bored out of our minds. At first, the teachers gave us games to do to pass the time. Boys vs. Girls competition, very competitive. But as minutes turned to hours, even this couldn't sustain us. We sat for a few hours in misery and then something happened. Carter and Johnny started singing a familiar tune. 99 bottles of beverages on the wall. 99 bottles of beverages. Take one down, pass it around. 99 bottles of beverages on the wall. Their singing was a white noise and first got drowned out by the rain. But slowly, people resorted to singing along. All of a sudden, almost all the boys were singing. We went from 99 all the way down to zero. With one bottle left, we were screaming, jumping, acting as if we just won the Super Bowl. We got to zero and it went bananas. We forgot all about the storm. We celebrated and celebrated. Looking back on the event, it was completely positive, all because we strived to make it the best we could and we did. It was an amazing experience that 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 is the main takeaway I'll have from HDS. No matter the situation, it is up to you and the people around you to determine how good a time you have. We hear it again and again. This grade is special. We mesh together like no other group. We complement each other's strengths as well as support each other's weaknesses. We are truly a team. And everything that has happened this year has only brought us closer. A very impactful moment that showed how strong we are was the Friday evening of Gianna's memorial. A few of us decided to share our stories from the Mamba Sita series. Jasmine was first. As soon as she began to read, we all realized that the only way we would successfully get through the evening was by supporting each other with everything we had. One by one, each new reader would begin to shed a tear and immediately someone would jump up and stand by him or her. We were 100% determined to get through the somber evening. Once the reading commenced, we sang a song. See You Again by Wiz Khalifa and Charlie Puth. When one of us couldn't bear to sing anymore because they were choked up, the rest would be louder to fill in for that one. We would adjust by any means necessary, what every true family does. We, we completed the song as well as the night together. We will all walk away knowing we provided Gianna's name with appropriate homage. I'm beyond terrified of all of us going our separate ways, but I can 100% confidently say we are ready. We are more than equipped to kill it in high school. I absolutely love all of you guys. And these nine years have been incredible. From the tears to the laughs to the jokes, many, many jokes, I love it all. I love going to battle with you guys. I love performing with you guys. I love competing with you guys. I love you guys. I lo to end it, I will quote the great Mr. Grogan and Mr. Arkin. Do great things. Bye, miss you already. Congratulations, class of 2020. I'm Susan Johnson, director of Upper School. We know the end of your Harbor Day School education is certainly not at all what we envisioned, but we wanna celebrate and honor you for all that you have accomplished while at Harbor Day School. Many of you have been here since kindergarten, while others of you have been here since middle school. Whatever, whatever your length of time at Harbor Day has been, you all contribute to being one incredible, unforgettable class. As a director of upper school, I first got to know you when you were in fifth grade. I quickly learned at how enthusiastic of a group you were and how you showed up and were all in for school activities. No place was this more evident than in your grade student council representatives. When it came time for student council elections for the eighth grade year, we had an impressive group of seven students sit in front of a panel of teachers and administrators. Jazzy, Gianna, Daniel, Dylan Lane, Armand, Sarah, and Peyton all had such compelling answers as to why they wanted to be on the council to make their school better and their eighth grade year the best yet, that we decided that they all should make it. An action they took. This year's student council has been the best that I've experienced in all my years at Harbor Day School, whether it be by sponsoring spirit weeks, running recess sporting tournaments, holding an advisory pumpkin or room decorating contest, volunteering on campus, or rallying the HDS Song Madness Contest during distance learning. You all have done a great job. 
However, what is most memorable about the class of 2020 is how close you all are and how you persevere during challenging times. Prior to the eighth grade, your class always had a reputation for generally getting along well and rolling with the punches. You embraced discussing growth mindset in your seventh grade literature class with Ms. Fawn while you read Jason Reynolds' track series. And you applied this growth mindset to your seventh grade Joshua Tree trip. Despite the bees, the coyotes running through camp, and even a snake in the cave, you were able to still enjoy each other's companies and have a positive experience. Of course, looking back, these challenges from the seventh grade trip were mere child's play compared to what lay ahead of you for the eighth grade year. And the eighth grade year has been nothing short of unbelievable. No one could have predicted everything that has marked your year. First, the lightning storm on the lower Colorado trip, which landed you all in a bathroom for hours and prevented you from leaving Walter's camp, to the flat tire, to the final stop at McDonald's, you all remained positive and saw this series of unfortunate events as an unforgettable adventure that you looked back and laughed at. But then of course there was January 26th, the horrific helicopter accident which took one of your beloved classmates, Gigi Bryant, her father Kobe Bryant, former teacher and parent Mrs. Mauser, and six others shook all of us to the core. The tragic loss continues to be devastating and painful, but you all have rallied together to grieve, support, and care for each other. Undoubtedly, Gigi is still with us. Her passion for life, her determination to give her best in everything she did, and her inclusive and kind nature are some of her many admirable traits, and she continues to serve as a role model for all of us. To play Gigi's way is certainly a lasting legacy that she and your class will have on Harbor Day and will help mold your pathway in life. We will always love and remember our dear Gigi. And finally, the global pandemic of COVID-19. The last three months have been unprecedented, but you again have come together and shown resilience during this uncertain time. You faced disappointment after disappointment as we all watched our society turn on its head, forcing the final eighth grade events and traditions of the year to be canceled. Nonetheless, even during distance learning, you continued to engage with your teachers and classes and to be there for each other. You even persevered to produce a virtual version of Footloose, which the entire Harbor Day School community could enjoy. I know there were times when individually you wanted to bail and give up, but collectively you were able to pull together and make it through this year. Certainly the catchphrase, we're all in this together, has a special meaning to the class of 2020 of Harbor Day. You have prov proven that no matter what the situation, you can and must persevere. Keep learning and making education a priority. Certainly the world needs people who can think critically about complex issues and to problem solve. Keep looking for the good and the positive in situations and using your growth mindset. And finally, keep supporting each other and your community. As we've seen, we get through these challenging times by banding together and lifting each other up. You have lived and learned these valuable life lessons at Harbor Day School. Class of 2020, you truly have a special place in our hearts and we are so proud of you. When you can, please come back and visit often. We love you and miss you greatly. Jasmine Aftabi. I just wanted to thank Harbor Day to the administration, my teachers, my friends, and especially my family. I wouldn't be the person I am today without you guys. And congrats, Class of 2020, we made it! Reagan Angeloff. Thank you to all my teachers and classmates for such an amazing nine years. I'm gonna miss you so much. I can't believe we're graduating already. Alex Boserup. Hey, eighth grade, congratulations. Thanks for being the best grade I could ever ask for. Congratulations, we did it. Aubrey Elizabeth Callahan. I want to thank my parents and teachers for being there for me all my time at Harbor Day. My favorite memory is definitely getting stuck on the Colorado River, and I'm going to miss seeing all the people in my grade. Ava Lily Cohen. Congratulations, class of 2020. 
Thank you, Harbor Day, for an amazing three years full of memories, including one of my favorites, the Colorado River trip. Although this trip didn't go as planned, many memories and bonds were created. Cameron Alexander Dans. Thank you, Harbor Day, for three amazing years. I'll never forget our class. I have so many great memories with my friends and faculty. Congratulations, class of 2020. Carter Frederick Dans. Congratulations, class of 2020. It's been such a memorable year. Thank you to all my friends that made this last three years so special. Chloe Adela Davis. Congratulations, class of 2020. Thank you to all my teachers and my parents for sending me to Harbor Day. I'm so grateful for all the friends and memories that I've made, and I'll cherish them forever. Congrats. Chase William Decker. T.J. Dilly. I'd like to thank my parents for sending me to Harbor Day, and I would like to thank the teachers and the staff for making the class of 2020 such a fun year. John Patrick Elliott. Congrats, class of 2020. I've had so many awesome memories with you guys. I love my time at HGS, especially with my great classmates and teachers. Fly high. Isabella Fawaz. Hi everyone, I want to thank the teachers, students, and parents for making these nine years amazing. I'm going to miss you guys. Grant David Franey. Congratulations to the class of 2020. Thank you to all my teachers and classmates who have made the past nine years so incredible. I hope to see you all soon and I'll miss you very much. Petra Rivero Gap. I just want to thank my family and my friends for supporting me through these past nine years. I'm so grateful for you guys, and I'm going to miss you guys so much. Congrats, Class of 2020. Alexandra Consuelo Gomez. Congrats, you guys. I'm going to miss seeing you every day. Thank you to all of the teachers who helped us for so long. See you guys in the summer. Chandler Green. I feel so lucky to be a part of the school and to be a part of our special grade. And I miss you guys a lot and I love you so much. Riley Michael Harrison. Hi guys, my favorite HDS memory is when I gave Mr. Bakula a styrofoam apple and he thought that it was real and he bit into it. But it's been an amazing nine years with you guys and thank you for everything. Rio Gabriella Hopped. I just want to say thank you so much to my teachers and my classmates for making the past nine years so incredible and a special thank you to my family for all the love and support. Congrats class of 2020, we did it. Daniel Zafar Khan. Favorite memory, I gotta go with the seventh grade greatest showman performance project. That was, that really to me just summed up our grade. Dylan Lane. Dear mom, Max, and dad, thank you for supporting me through my Harbor Day career. I love you guys and a big shout out to my grandparents and family. And to my classmates, we made it. It's nice to know we've been friends forever. Michael William Joseph Lynch. Thank you teachers and classmates for making my time at Harbor Day very memorable. I will miss all of you. And thank you parents for sending me to this great school. Madeline Grace Mahoney. My favorite memory at Harvard Day was probably dancing to the Footloose for the first time with my grade. I will really miss my friends and all the memories I've made with them. Dylan Mir Hashemi. I'll never forget our last play practice when we were all together one last time, not knowing what our futures hold, but knowing that whatever happens, we have each other. Cooper Patrick Mullane. Thank you so much, Class of 2020 and Harbor Day for making this the best experience ever. I'm gonna miss you all so much, and I wanna thank my parents and teachers for helping me throughout this nine year journey. Tate Natland. 
congratulations, class of 2020. I just want to say thank you for all my teachers and friends for being so supportive and my family for providing me with education. Alex Nguyen. I'd like to thank my mom and my dad for sending me to Harbor Day, and my favorite memory was going on the Colorado River. Catherine Clementine Peets. Hi, class of 2020. I just wanted to say thank you for my nine years at HTS, and thank you for making it so special. I love you all the most, and I hope and wish you all well next year. Aiden Alexander Powell. say thank you to my mom, my dad, my and my entire family, to my teachers and to my friends. Elena Raposa. The past nine years have flown by fast. I would like to thank my teachers for preparing me for my next chapter. I have so many great memories and I'll miss all of you. Christy Lynn Riddle. Congrats, class of 2020, we finally made it. I'm so proud of everyone and how far we've come over the years. I love you guys and I'm gonna miss you so much next year. Thank you for everything you've done. Armand Rofugaran. Sarah Augusta Sonnenschein. Thank you so much to Harvard Day School for an amazing nine years. Thank you to all of our teachers for always being there for us. And thank you to Harvard Day School for giving me so many amazing friendships that I know will last a lifetime. Sage Spector. Thank you to everyone who supported me throughout my nine years at Harvard Day School. I can't believe I'm finally graduating and I miss you all so much. Emma Renee Steelberg. I would like to thank my parents, my classmates, and my teachers for making the past nine years of my life amazing. I will never forget our crazy Colorado River trip. Congrats to everyone. Logan Stern. Congratulations, everyone. I'm going to miss all of you so much next year. Thank you to all my teachers for everything you've done for me in the past years, and especially this year. I want to wish everyone the best luck in high school next year. Love you guys. Talia Paradise Ming Siu Si. I want to thank all of my teachers and everyone in my class for being part of the Iowa and something from all of you. Walker Ryland Vasek. I want to say congratulations to the class of 2020. I'm so honored to be a part of this class and make so many great friends and make so many memories. But also, I want to give a special thanks to my parents. Dylan Vikas Vanjani. I wanted to thank my family, friends, and my teachers for all the love and support these past nine years at Harbor Day. Peyton Renee Vovin. I want to thank my family for being so supportive and my classmates and teachers for making the past nine years of my life the best ever. I'm going to miss you guys so much next year. Reed Wainwright. I want to thank all of my friends and teachers, and my favorite memory at Harbor Day was the end of the year track meets when we got to eat candy and play sports instead of going to class. Erica Alexis Ween. Everett Welton. Thank you to all the teachers and faculty at Harbor Day for everything you've done for me in my memorable nine years. I'll miss you all. Lucy Catherine Walter. Thank you so much to all the teachers at Harbor Day who supported me. And what I'll miss most is hanging out with my friends in the mall every day. Congrats to us. Jack Fenton Yoshida. I'd like to thank my parents and Harvard Day. I have enjoyed my time here. Congratulations to my classmates. I've had the best nine years of my life with you guys. Go Seahawks. Carson Ju. Thank you to all my teachers and all my classmates. We survived 2020 so far.
Ladies and gentlemen, I present the Harbor Day School Class of 2020. Congratulations. Congrats, eighth grade. So excited for you guys and your next adventure. Gonna miss you next year. Ciao. Congratulations, class of 2020, and best of luck on your next adventure. Congratulations to the class of 2020 on your graduation, and best wishes on your next adventure. Congratulations, class of 2020. Good luck. We'll miss you. Harbor Day School, class of 2020. Congratulations on your graduation, and best of luck as you all move on to high school. All the best, eighth grade. Miss you. Remember, whatever you do, you got this. Congratulations, class of 2020. Woohoo, we love you. Go see hot. Congratulations, Hawk. eighth graders. Good luck to wherever you may land. Be bold, be courageous, be you. Congratulations, eighth grade. I'll miss you. Class 2020. Best wishes for high school. Congratulations to the class of 2020. Congratulations, eighth grade. Class of 2020, good luck to all of you. I missed you terribly. You are wonderful people and you are going to crush in the future. Great stuff. Take care of yourselves. We'll Congratulations, eighth grade. We love you. Congrats on your graduation. I just wanted to remind you to make good decisions. Congratulations, class of 2020. Congratulations, eighth grade. I'm so proud of you. Congratulations, eighth grade. Job well done. Class of 2020, you're the best. Congratulations, class of 2020. You did it. Congratulations, class of 2020. Congratulations, class of 2020. You make us all so proud. Keep shining like the stars that you are. Congratulations, class of 2020. Stay sharp. You're also going to be ninth graders. Congratulations on your graduation. I'm going to miss you a lot. Buena suerte, good luck. Hasta la vista, con mucho amor. Congratulations, eighth grade. We're so proud of you. Hey, class of 2020, just want to uh, wish you well. I know you guys are all off to doing great things, and uh, we love you. You're going to be missed, and uh, best of luck to all of you. Congratulations, class of 2020. Thanks for the adventure. Now go have a new one. Congratulations, eighth graders. Class 2020, congratulations on your graduation, and good luck to your future. Hey, class of 2020. What an awesome group of eighth graders. I am so proud of you and congratulations. Class of 2020, we just want to say we're so incredibly proud of you. Congratulations on all your accomplishments. What a truly transcendent year for us all. Transcendent is an adjective, meaning surpassing the ordinary. And through your experiences, you have done that and become exceptional began with adaptability on our ominous Walters trip camp. You all just smiled, braved flat tires, sang inappropriate songs in a bathroom, and stayed committed to each other. Next came compassion and courage. When January 26th rocked us to our core, you never lost sight of each other. You rallied that night for a vigil, beautifully decorated Gianna's locker, sang songs, created artwork, and shared memories and hugs. Your bravery will forever astound me. Finally, you lost your last three months of school and all the tragedy and difficulties of the pandemic, I know you will get a chapter dedicated to your reverence for each other. You come to class each day, to all the work, labor through the tech issues, even watch me grow a beard that will forever embarrass my family. Class of 2020, we love you, we will miss you, and Harbor Day will always be here for you. What's going on, Harbor Day School? I'm Joe from the band Fall Out Boy, and um, I want to say a couple things. I want to say thank you for picking Centuries as your guys' song. I think that's really, really cool, and I appreciate that. I'm very honored. And um, I want to say also, I know it's been an incredibly hard year for you guys uh, in many regards, and now, you know, this crazy pandemic is happening, and it's messing everything up for everyone, but... You know, I think um, looking on the, the bright side and looking at the silver lining, you guys have you know done a good job persevering and sticking together and supporting each other. And uh, you're graduating, and that's something to be really excited about and really proud of. Um, you know, you're all going to be entering high school next year. It's a big step. So uh, I think despite all the 
tragedy, which I'm sorry for, and all of this terrible stuff going on in the world, you should still, you know, be proud of yourselves for making it this far. So congratulations and, uh, you know, hope the best for all of you in the future.